Hey guys, I am Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And here I have another quick question for you and that question is simply this. What makes a person an expert? Is it experience? Is it the tools that they have? Is it the, their charisma? Is it any of those things? I don't believe it is. What I believe makes an expert is their passion and their determination to do something that is exceptional, right? They pay attention to all the details, they invest in those details, and they really want to drive results, right? Good expertise is hard to find. Oftentimes, a lot of folks are leveraging the experience of others, right? Or they are looking to grow their business the fastest way they can. So they take a lot of shortcuts. An expert really considers everything that they're doing. An expert also wants to make sure that whatever they're doing doesn't adversely affect their client. They're always thinking about their client demand. Now, look, let's take an example for an instance, right? Let's, let's talk about Apple. It's one of my favorite companies to talk about, and I've talked about them in another video before about what makes a good company great, but a great company, right, and a great business really invests enough time and energy and effort in just what is the customer experience like? Why would this be more beneficial than what the status quo is? Or why is the usability of something, like even the iPod, for, for instance, when the iPod first came out, they didn't want the same old MP3 player, right? And, and there were many of them out there, right? They, they, when they first released it, and I, I can remember this in my head very, very distinctly because I love technology. They talked about the experience of using other MP3 players, right? And what was the first thing their competition said? Who wants to spend that kind of money for something larger than the other, the other thing, than what the competition offers? right? The experience mattered to the clients. And that is what drove the iPod to be the standard when it comes to MP3 players that no one else could compete with, not even Microsoft, right? Microsoft had the Zoom for quite some time and it looked a lot like the iPod. But what changed the iPod from the Zoom? The experience, the software, the hardware, the marriage of all of these things put together really drove the customer experience home. That's what makes an expert that's what an expert wants to pride himself in. He doesn't want to just provide a product or a service that meets the needs of their customer. He wants their customer to have the most exceptional experience that they can. And that's, that's what you need to really invest in. That's what you need to spend time in doing and understanding as far as what, what are you trying to accomplish in your business? Are you just trying to make ends meet? Are you just trying to meet customer demand and say, hey, look, there's a large business out here. I just want a piece of it. Or do you want to be an expert? Do you want to uh, make a change or a difference in people's lives so that other folks can really recognize who you are as a person and as a business owner and, the, and that the business that you're running is exceptional? So with that, that's what I have. I'd love to hear your comments below. I'd love to see what you have to think about that. I really do spend a lot of time thinking about what are some of the, the things that business owners really need to understand about operating a business. And this is one of those things, right? If you want to be an expert, if you want to be considered an expert, in my mind, it takes doing this. So please let me hear what you have to think about that. Would love to hear that. Would love to have a conversation with you on, on those things. And also, what are some other topics that you'd like me to cover? I'm always looking for new topics. I'm always studying different things. Um, and, and you know researching different business articles and seeing where business is going would love to know what you think of some topics that I could that I could uh, talk about would love to do that would also love it if you could subscribe to this channel and tell your friends please share this video with others let them know hey this guy's out here he's trying his best to be the best business consultant I can I'm I'm pretty much giving myself away to this whole task my passion is to help you and your business grow. And I don't care what it costs me. I don't know what it's gonna, what it's gonna take to really garner a good audience or really grow a channel, but I'm, I'm out to do that. Um, I have some goals for myself as far as, can I get a certain number of followers? Can I get some attention uh, on what it is I'm trying to do here? And this is part of that. What's really part of that for me as far as understanding 
my audience, understanding who I'm talking to as far as how to meet what they're what they're doing, what they're, you know, really about, what their business is about or what they want me to talk about in some sense and ultimately delivering on that. So that's why I really ask almost at the end of every video, please comment down below and let me know what else I can talk about. Let me know how I can help you because that's what I'm here for. I'm not here for myself or to hear myself talk all the time, even though it sounds like I'm doing that and uh, I, I may like it in some, some respects, but I may not in others, right? I really want to drive good value in, in the things that I'm saying and not just be some other guy rambling on on a channel and it's boring. So uh, with that, that's all I have. Uh, I could talk all day. I probably, I probably should stop at some point. Um, but thank you for uh, getting to the end of the video. If you have, please subscribe to this channel. Like I said, please tell other folks about it and visit my website. I am KenRoss.com and until next time, I'll see you around.